Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to discuss a problem where it is given as solve dq minus 5d square plus 7d minus 3 into y equal to e part 2x into cos hx. So, we have to rewrite the right hand side dq minus 5d square plus 7d minus 3 into y equal to e power 2x into cos hx is e power x plus e power minus x whole divided by 2. Now we have to multiply this outside term with both the terms inside. By doing so we get e power since bases are same we will add the power we become 3x. Then 2x minus x will be e power x whole divided by 2 so I will take individually divided by 2. Now as so a first part we have to write the auxiliary equation where it is m cube minus 5 m square plus 7 m minus 3 equal to 0. On solving using calculator we get the values for m as 1, 1 and 3. We get 3 values for m. Now complementary function will be there are 2 equal values and 1 different value. So c1 e power 3x. So I completed the first single value. Then these two are equal value. So c2 plus c3x into e power mx. m is 1 here. So e power x. So for 3 values we have written the complementary function where 2 values are equal and another value is single value. All the values are real values. So we complete the complementary function. So coming to particular integral we have to write particular integral 1. Particular integral 1 we have to take e power 3x by 2. So e power 3x by 2 and in the denominator we have that entire expression d cube minus 5d square. Then we have plus 7d minus 3. Plus 7d minus 3. Now as per the procedure, whatever the number here, we have to substitute in, in place of d. So substituting d equal to 3. So it is going to be e power 3x folded by 2 into 3 cube 27 minus 5 into 3 square which is 9 plus 7 into 3 then minus 3 totally we get 0 in the denominator so e power 3x by 2 into 0 when we get 0 in the denominator we have to multiply by x in numerator and differentiate the denominator. So we will write x into e power 3x whole divided by 2 into the first term we have is d cube in minus 5d square. So d cube is 3d square then minus 5d square. So minus 10d then we have plus 7d. So it will become plus 7. Now once again wherever d is there we have to substitute the value 3. So substituting d equal to 3. This will give x into e power 3x folded by 2 into 3 into 3 square minus 10 into 3 plus 7. So it will be x into e power 3x whole divided by 2 into 3 square 9 9 3 27 then minus 30 plus 7 totally x e power 3x divided by 8 in the same way we have to find particular integral 2 for particular integral 2 we take the another term which is e power x by 2. 
So here e power x by 2 into d cube minus 5d square plus 7d minus 5d square plus 7d then we have minus 3. Once again we have to substitute the value of d as 1 here because we have 1 here at x coefficient. So substituting d equal to 1. So when I put d as 1 denominator will become 0 because it's 1 cube then minus 5 and plus 7 minus 3. So it is 1 minus 5 plus 7 minus 3. So when denominator 0 we multiply by x in numerator and we differentiate differentiate denominator. So x into e power x divided by 2 into 3d square first term differentiation is 3d square minus 10d plus 7 minus 10d plus 7. Once again when I substitute x x coefficient which is 1 for d it is substituting d equal to 1. So it will become x e power x by 2 into 3 minus 10 plus 7. Once again it becomes 0. So x e power x by 2 into 0. So again we have to multiply with x and differentiate the denominator. Differentiate denominator. So we get numerator x already there is one x we multiply one more x will become x square e power x divided by 2 then we have 3d square minus 10d so difference will be 6d minus 10 so 6d minus 10 then we have to substitute the value of d as 1 substituting d equal to 1 by doing so we get x square e power x by 2 into I put 1 here we get minus 4 so totally minus 8 so x square e power x by minus 8 now the complete solution will be y equal to cf plus pi1 plus pi2 so cf we had one single value so for that we wrote e power 3x then we had c2 plus c3x into 2 equal values 1 and 1 for that we had e power x then coming to pi1 it is nothing but x e power 3x by 8 plus x e power 3x by 8 then the last value pi2 is minus x square e power x by 8.